What is up vaping fans, Loopy from Loopy Vapes here and today what I'm going to be reviewing is the new Valyrian tank by UWell. Now, I wasn't special enough to get a big ass, damn it's fucking smoggy up in this bitch. Um, I didn't get uh, an egg in the mail to review like every other reviewer did, um, it saddens my heart, but you gotta make do with what you got. So I got, you know, the original packaging. This is what you're gonna be getting over in any store that you buy it at or any website that you buy it at. So I got the stainless steel right here. I'm rocking the stainless steel for the review. This is what I'm going to be getting up and close with. And this is what I've been rocking for the past week. Uh, it gave me time to test out the tank, you know, get to know the coils and the, you know, anything that I need to tell you about. And uh, so far I'm liking it. Now let's get up and close and show you what the tank looks like. So in your packaging, you have your Valyrian tank, your extra 0.15, 95 to 120 watt coil, your extra five milliliter glass. Now side note, you do get the option to buy the eight milliliter glass, which again is a separate purchase. You also get these extra O-rings and extra gaskets. Now this one's gonna be for the bottom. These are going to be for the top of the tank. This is going to be for your refill um, section. And this one is basically for your pins. So I'm going to show you how to change that or, you know, use that whenever you might have some leaking problems or anything of the sort. These are going to be your two airflow generators or, you know, your new pins, whatever you want to call it. Now, a quick side note with these, you're going to want to look very closely right here to where you see these numbers. Here it says 95 to 105 for the tornado pin. And here for this uh, really bulbous one, it's going to say 100 to 120 watts. So if you're looking for more uh, cloud chasing with some more flavor, because this is what these pins are supposed to do, they're supposed to restrict a little bit of airflow while giving you some flavor you're gonna want to go with this one because this one you can max it out to 120, which what is what the coil can do. Now, if you're just looking for more restricted airflow and more flavor, you would wanna go with this uh, tornado pin, which is 95 to 105 watts max. You get an extra mouthpiece, which is a different color. This one is gold. You also get a mouthpiece cover, or as I, I like to call it, a mouthpiece condom. A couple of instructions for your top cap and your coils, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows about already. Also comes with this FDA new regulation. You know, screw that. Who cares about that? And last but not least, this thick ass fucking user manual. I don't know who's actually going to read through all of this um because these are basically like terms and conditions nobody fucking reads this shit here's one two and then three big ass airflow holes man these things are huge i get so much airflow when i vape on this thing um little thing about this is there is no o-ring on this cap so um i don't i don't know how to feel about that because this one actually feels a little flimsy but unfortunately on the on the one on my black one, it doesn't feel flimsy at all. It's actually pretty hard to take off. So I guess this is just, you know, sort of kind of a luck game. Here you're gonna have your pin system. This is ex the exact same pin as the Crown 3. So how you change these pins is really easy. You would get one of the other pins so for this instance, I'm going to use a tornado pin or, you know, vortex pin. I'm going to just pop this one out. And there is that extra O-ring that I was talking about. This one is just in case there's any leaking or it slips out or anything. You always have that extra one there. So right here, easy to put in the new... Uh, easy to put in the new pin just go ahead and put that right there in the middle you slap coil right on there bam boom you got your new pin your 
105 max pin and what this is supposed to do is supposed to bring out a whole lot more flavor um, I'm going to try it out on this tank while I have my black Valyrian with the crown 3 pin and then I'm going to go right back up to it and then I'm going to vape on it tell you see if I could tell a difference so we're just going to close this bad boy right up I'm going to fill this bad boy right up this might take a while this is actually a pretty big tank By the way, what I'm refilling this tank is with Candy King. This is one of my favorite flavors so far. Uh, I have a lot of juice that I have to review, so maybe that'll change. But I'm going to put this on a new mod or possibly put it on my new dot mod. And then I'm going to vape it. I'm going to vape the flat pin. I'm going to tell you how it goes. So let's get right back up to it. So unfortunately I left all my other mods at work. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put this one, the flat pin, which is the black one, at 105 watts in my dot mod. And then I'm just gonna, while that's sitting there, I'm gonna put this one, same wattage, five watts, and I'm gonna see, uh, 105 watts, <laughs> wow. And I'm gonna see if I can tell any difference. So let's get right to it. <laughs> Let me get a wide angle shot. Oh, she's a chucking. All right, so here we have the stainless steel Valyrian. Uh, this one has the vortex pin, and this one is at 105 watts. I don't know if you can see that. But let's get to it. So both of the airflows wide open. Uh, I can definitely tell a difference with uh, the airflow on this one. It is a little bit more restricted. Uh, definitely, I can taste the flavor difference, but it's very, very minimal. It's definitely there though. But if I had to pick between the two, I would go crown three pin all the way because I am just a cloud chaser. Um, maybe I'll do another video on how the bulbous pin looks or how the bulbous pin vapes, but so far, if I was going for flavor, I would definitely go with the Vortex pin. If I was definitely going for clouds, I would just stick to the Crown 3 pin. And that's basically what I prefer. I'm a cloud chaser. As much as I love flavor, I still love those clowns. And you definitely still get a lot of flavor with that Crown 3 pin. That is my review on it. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Later, guys.